the whole creator economy is really just the result of the flattening of payment systems, distribution systems, which is what connects it to remote work. I am technically a creator now, despite not doing anything creator-ish, like I haven't done anything weird or special to change my life. It's just because there's easy access to software. If somehow I could draw, which I cannot, I could theoretically become an artist today. It's not even a what is art thing. I could get a Sintit Wacom tablet, do it and upload it, and it could be there and someone could buy it. And maybe they would like it. The one thing I have already is an audience. And I think that that is what stops a lot of people becoming creators. The audience building is always going to be the trouble. It's the same thing with everything. How do you build an audience with anything? How do you build an audience as starting out in a career? I think that these are all problems that everyone who becomes a solo entrepreneur is going to face, that you faced, I faced. I think you're now seeing creators facing the problems that a lot of freelancers and contract workers faced before, which is how do I build an audience online and how do I retain it? How do I get people clicking by? What does that look like? What do I need to create? A lot of creators moving into business are going to have that dichotomy where it's like, ah, I want to create because I'm creative. I don't want to create for money, but I also need money to live. And people are buying creative works. Exactly. That is going to be a problem that I think a lot of creators are just naturally going to find now. 